What's going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video. I know, I know, I haven't made a video in quite a while. Before we get into the video, which is sharing my Notion workflows. If you're not familiar with Notion, it's a pretty incredible app, website, program, tool for organizing, working, collaborating with a large amount of people, a small amount of people, just yourself. It's a program that allows you to pretty much do whatever you need with whatever you have. <laughs> it's hard to explain, but I'm gonna get in and show you in a second, but I have a question for you. I'm thinking about renaming this channel to the execs as in plural and also uploading some of the content that Kevin makes or some of the content that we might make together. Still be sparse for the time being because uh, the content on this channel is not necessarily a super big priority. Still care about it. Still here doing it. But yeah, just uh, out of curiosity more so because Kevin's been making some internal videos that are just announcements for the team. And I thought you guys might be interested. Now, it might not be relevant things to you, but you know, if you're at all interested in how a business is run on the inside or, or what we do or how we manage employees or how we manage those relationships or business practices, that would give you an insight into how we do that. So let me know if that's interesting to you because we're already making those videos and I uh, thought you guys might enjoy that. I was thinking of you, you business minded viewers here. Also, this video is sponsored by Notion, which is freaking awesome. If you know who Notion is, then you know that's awesome. It's a big deal because Notion is awesome. So a uh, shout out to Notion. Uh, if you want Notion, link down in the description. Let's get on with it. Right here, right now, Notion is, I'm uh, like, I wanna, I want, I'm gonna show you my Notion workflow, but first off for the new viewers, I kinda wanna just demonstrate what the heck Notion is. Like in its most basic form, it's like a modular document interlinking system. Uh, it's so hard to explain, but let's say for instance, this is a document, right? And it's an essay that I'm writing. I could immediately just begin typing and just type away in my essay and it's a normal document like that. Or you can see I can create things from templates or I can create boards or lists or calendars or galleries or timelines. Timelines is a new feature, which is pretty cool. I haven't experimented with much, but I'm very interested. I'm not really going to experiment and show you all of these different things. You'll see them as I go through all of my documents here, but uh, there's plenty of plenty of videos online that kind of walk you through everything. But the basic idea here is it's, it's a, whoa, a bathtub, sick. It's a modular system. So if I hit backslash, even these blocks are modular, which is pretty awesome. I can add a page in a page in a page. So now if we go back to that one, you can see there's a page in a page and I can add another page and that's where we get to our basic first use at hi Five studios of how we use notion right it's an intranet for hi Five studios for those of you not familiar with what an intranet is it's like a, an internal website right it's an internal website in which we communicate share documents collaborate and uh, showcase various things that are important to us in our company so for instance this is the first page it's the hi Five wiki so this is an internal page you guys don't have access to it only employees have access to it and uh, this is one of the ways we use notion because it's really really quick and easy access for all the employees to get access to documents and, and things of that nature so yeah so as you can see the first thing we have a little header here and it says mission vision and the vibe so mission if we if we jump out to here you can see the mission of high five studios right um you can see that this is actually located in a different page here but we've linked it right so we've that's what that little arrow means is we've linked it because these pages actually they exist somewhere else they live somewhere else but we linked to it in this about page for ease of access, right? One of the things I, I, I want to do a little bit more is kind of reorganize because boom, you can see I can reorganize things in a clever ways, which is pretty cool. So for instance, if I add another little tool above this right here, boom, I can just do this tools, right? I love that modular approach to uh, building documents. It's really, really nice, especially when you're building a much more complex document that, you know, especially in a website form like this, which is a huge aspect of how Hi-Fi Studios use, utilizes Notion. So the vision is the vision of Hi-Fi Studios. You can read more if you want to on these particular topics if you're an employee here. So that's a little toggle right there. So you can see what you need to see. But if you want to go in deeper dive, you can, which is really awesome. So you don't inundate employees, especially new employees with information that, you know, on their first day, they're like, this is too much information, right? You can expand it if you want to or come back later, which is always a plus. We have tools here, uh, which is the one policy to rule them all. This is how Hi-5 operates. Uh, this basic one singular policy policy. We do not have uh, any policy besides this one policy, which is pretty awesome. And it provides a lot of a 
autonomy, creative freedom, and it restricts bureaucracy, which I can't stand. <laughs> One of these documents I actually literally released today is the vision system. And this is how I like to work with my, uh, my creatives here at the company. So for instance, uh, there's a summary here, there's a why, there's a who, and then there's an iterative approach to collaboration, like how it works, right? How we go through the creative process that stems directly from a singular vision and how we all unify and collaborate. Again, one of these tools is Notion that we utilize to do that. Very, very helpful. So you can start to get a picture of what this wiki looks like and how it works. You can see we have holiday schedule. We give off a lot of days. It's pretty awesome. Man, High Five's a great place to work. What the heck? <laughs> I have employee handbook and guidelines, more guidelines, tons of guidelines in here. OKRs is another way we manage our goal setting and we do it in you guessed it, Notion. We'll, we'll explore OKRs in a little bit, but uh, let's see what else we got here. We got frequently asked questions all through here. How to book conference room, let's say for instance, short, simple guide right there. We got job openings, reimbursements, roles and, and responsibilities, report an incident. Let's see what this looks like. Um, this just gives you a suggestion and a process with how to report an incident inside High Five Studios. Then we have hubs. So these hubs are basically an HQ for different departments or different shows or different channels that have a singular vision underneath the broader high five vision that are much more unified teams going in a particular direction so for instance if we're looking at uh, the spark hub spark is a platform that we're building right now can't show you too much here but uh, this is how we're organizing all of our information and resources and how we unify the vision of the app right so spark is an app in which we are going to be figuring out how to make something better more unique than YouTube to connect with our fans and to deliver them content. So it's not a YouTube competitor, but it is something to better harness the relationship we have with our audience. Because right now, YouTube comments for me, they're just not cutting it. That's one of the things we're working on. You can see we have project notes, executive sprints, spark vision and mission. You can see right here to reshape the way content is consumed and shared by focusing on community. Yes, core values, product values. So again, internet allows people to unify over a shared vision. Again, you're going to see that theme pop up over and over and over because that's our, our, our core use of Notion. But we have some other uses and I'd like to show you those as well. One of the other use that we have is organizing video databases. So for instance, you can see all of these video ideas. So this is for Overkill. So a channel that a YouTube channel that we're starting up soon that is taking over Doper Nope. It's shifting Doper Nope, I'd say more than anything, which is an existing like YouTube channel for those of you that aren't aware. It's got about 8 million subscribers and we're transitioning the content. And so here's a bunch of, spoiler alert, a bunch of ideas with which we are going to make more content with. So we can see right here, making an overkill wall, overkill took over the Tesla, underkill tries to sabotage Megadesk. We open that up, we see a brief example. We see who it's created by. So you can see we have quite a few ideas we're, we're working through and we can shift this to a board a table or whatever pitch status so you can see immediately right here these are approved ideas now and this is all the same information just with a different view and this is one of the reasons why i love notion is that you can quickly visualize your data in a variety of different ways whatever way best suits you going through processing organizing working with that data and that's what's super super helpful because everyone can be working in different views right so let's say overkill starts a fighting tournament this particular idea. I'm not a huge fan of because it's not really product focused and that's really where the overkill channel is focused on. It's focused on product. So what I would probably do is throw that over to the decline and uh, you know, they're still there if I ever want to peek back in there and be like, you know what? I, I, I think I might t do a spin on that idea or whatever, but we can uh, drag things in between and reorganize. So that's very, very helpful for production. Speaking of Doper Note, you can see this was, is, the doper no pub uh, you can see we put our mission right there at the top which isn't really changing that much with the overkill takeover but it's it's a slight shift right but you can see there's channel links product research hype triggers writing formats frequently asked questions inventory channel responsibilities you can see how this can be very very useful to a relatively medium t or small medium to large team so if we look at the let's see let's look at the production board a good example of how uh, this is laid out here so if we go into board view we 
we can see all the videos in their current phase, right? A lot of these have been halted and we're rearranging this. So this is a little out of date, but you can still see, uh, you can still see how it works, right? How we've utilized this. And you can like shift and, and move all around here, but you can see this, these videos are in the writing phase. And then when we're done in the writing phase, we literally drag it over and now it's in the purchasing phase. And you can alert people and let people know. If we pop over to, let's say, videos that we've shot in the past, illusion products that you can't stop staring at, that video is actually live. You can see the video budget is right here. You can see when it was created, the type of video that it is. Um, you can see all of these various points and you can see all the products that we pull from. So almost all Doper Note videos on the back end when we're pulling up products to show them to you, we're actually using Notion. We're actually using Notion to pull them up and to serve them to you. We're still gonna be doing that for the overkill stuff, but Notion is kind of like right now in the in the back end. It's in the it's that silent hero that's helping us organize everything. <laughs> Another use uh, and the final use that I'll show you today, if you're interested in more, as you can see on the on the sidebar here, we use Notion in a large variety of ways, but I'm going to show you one more. If you're interested, let me know down in the comments below if you'd like a, a part two of Notion, how we use Notion. But for now, let's look at this, the exec. Right here, you can see all these are in my favorites, right? But uh, this exec page, if I go up here and I click share, you can see I've clicked share to web because this exec page I'm actually using as my website for this channel, for this very channel, because it's just so simple. It's so useful. I don't have to design all this crazy stuff. I don't have to hire a designer. I don't have to hire a website uh, creator. Like not that I don't want to. It's just I made this like that and you just keep adding pages as you see fit you're already working in notion all of you guys can literally click in on this right now and view this public view of it right now which is pretty awesome you could see all of this stuff I, don't, I wouldn't say a lot of it is filled out but there is a lot of stuff that is filled out that you can go and use immediately and this is the final use for today that i'm going to go over because there's just so much here like i love the fact that i can house multiple websites in this one account on Notion. And I, I've also seen other sites uh, that allow you to actually use a custom domain with your Notion page, which is pretty awesome. So you can actually make it look like a legit site. Beyond that, you can add images and things like that. Right now, I just have a header because that's all it really needs. So guys, if you're interested in Notion, link down in the description, you can go sign up for free. You can literally sign up and start using it for free. And honestly, if I'm not mistaken, if you're a personal user, I'm going to I'm going to double check here because I, I just want to I just want to verify that my facts are straight because it's 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 hard to believe <laughs> it's hard to believe look at this free literally free and you can share it with up to five guests sync it across all your devices windows i'm using it on my mac i use it on my iphone i use it on you can use it on all that stuff pro which is everything but unlimited file uploads and limited guest version history this is what we do we use the team and we have quite a bit of members and that seems to be really really fitting for us but yeah if you have a team or if you have like a small group of individuals I would definitely recommend team. But yeah, if you have no money, like check out Notion. Check out Notion because starting to organize your life in, in this way is super, super helpful because Notion can grasp any information you throw at it. So link down in the description below. Click it, sign up. Let me know how your experience is. I'm curious. Uh, I'm really curious how you use Notion. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, let me know. Leave it a like, subscribe. Again, let me know if you'd like to see those videos that Kevin has made, that uh, we've made, that we're just sharing internally. If you'd like that, naturally, they're not necessarily directed at you, but they are directed at High Five staff. If you'd like that inside look, let me know. And uh, I'll look into figuring out how to start that production process or that, that, uh, that funnel so they all end up on this channel. Let me know. We'll see you next time.